Welcome to Data Demystified. I'm Jeff Gallick, and this is my series of tutorial videos on how to use SPSS to work with data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct and interpret a paired sample t-test where you compare the means of two different variables within the same group of data. As always, we'll be using the YouTube Viewing Habits survey that I created, and you can find both a link to the data file and a video tutorial of the data below. Sometimes it's very useful for us to be able to compare the average value of two variables across our entire data set. And so for that, we're going to use a paired sample t-test. And in particular, we're going to look at these variables right here. These are the importance variables. They indicate people's responses on the questions of how important each of these variables are to their decision to watch a YouTube video. Importantly, they are on a five point scale anchored with not at all important at one and extremely important anchored at five. We're going to make two comparisons. First, we're going to look at these two variables right here. We're going to compare how important people say it is who the creator of the video is versus how important it is what the content of the video is. That'll be our first comparison. And for our second comparison, we're going to compare how important it is what the colors of the thumbnail look like relative to the number of likes that the video has. So to do this, we conduct a paired sample t-test, which can be done up here. Analyze, compare means, paired sample t-test. What you'll note right away is that it's going to ask for two variables before any analysis can be conducted because it has to compare two variables to one another. And so let's put those in. First, we'll put in how important it is who the creator of the videos is. And note that I can't actually click OK yet because it needs a second variable to compare against. I then include how important it is what the video content is about, and now I am able to run my analysis, but before I do that, I want to add the second comparison, which is how important is it that the colors of the thumbnail are attractive compared to how many likes the video has. I don't need to select any other options, so we're ready to go, and we click OK. The first thing to note is that all of our tables here are going to have two sets of results, pair number one, pair number two, and we see that all the way down. In our very first table, we find that the means of the different variables are what they are right here. We find that we have full data, which is a thousand responses, so we have no missing data, and we have the standard deviations and standard errors of those means. SPSS also automatically provides us with the correlation between the variables that we're comparing, and so we see the correlation for the first pair is 0.114, and that is statistically significant. We see that the correlation for the next two is 0.461, and also significant. If you want to know a little bit more about how to do correlations in SPSS, I cover that in a different video that I'll link to below. The meat of this analysis, however, is really at the bottom over here. This is where we have our paired sample t-tests. So looking at that first pair, who the creator is versus the content of the video, we see that the mean difference between the averages of those variables is a negative 1.548. So that's just comparing these two variables right here. We see that the standard deviation of that mean is 1.41, the standard error is 0.045, and the 95% confidence interval for that difference is what it is right here. Critically, we see that the t-statistic is very, very large. It's negative 34.513, so in absolute terms, that's a huge t-value. We have 999 degrees of freedom because we define a paired sample t-test as the sample size minus one for the degrees of freedom. And we see that that is a statistically significant result. And that is because that value right here is below our conventional cutoff of 0.05. What that means is we can reject the null hypothesis that these two means right here are equal, and we can conclude that they are in fact different from one another. That's not the case for our second comparison. Here we see that the difference is only 0.008 with a large standard deviation, relatively large standard error, and our 95% confidence interval includes zero. Critically, the T value for this test is 0.22 with the same degrees of freedom because it's the same number of data points, and our P value is 0.824, which is well above our cutoff of 0.05, meaning we cannot reject the null hypothesis that these two means right here are equal. And so a paired sample t-test allowed us to compare the averages of two variables to one another. This is the point in the video where I'm going to ask you to pause and try this for yourself. In particular, if I pop back to the data, why don't you see if there's a difference in the average response to how important it is, how recently the video was posted, and how important it is what the title is. So these two variables right here. Go ahead and pause the video, give it a try, and I'll do it as well when you return. Okay, hopefully you've gone ahead and done this. So now I'm going to do it as well. We go up to Analyze, Compare Means, Paired Sample T-Test. I will reset this so it starts over from the beginning, and I will compare those two variables. So how recently the video was posted and what the title of the video is. I'm just going to do this one comparison so we see what that looks like. I'll hit OK. And we again see here that the means are what they are right here with our total sample size and standard deviations. We see that those two variables happen to be correlated, and we also see that those means are significantly different from one another. I know that because the mean difference is a negative 1.08 with a standard deviation of 1.45 and a standard error of 0.046. And critically, my T statistic is negative 23.536, which is huge. And that is further confirmed by the fact that the p-value is very small and well below 0.05 meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis that these two variables are the same and instead can conclude that they are in fact different. Hopefully you now see how a paired sample t-test can be conducted to make a comparison between the averages of two different variables. That's it for this video. 
I hope you found this useful, and if you have any questions, please comment below, and I'll be sure to reply as quickly as I can. Aside from these tutorials, I'm on a mission to equip everyone with the information they need to thrive in our data-rich world. If you'd like to learn not just the mechanics of analysis, which these video tutorials focus on, but also learn the intuition behind the analysis you're performing, I strongly suggest you check out the other intuition-focused videos on this channel where I take the jargon out of statistics and data science and help you build a deep, intuitive understanding behind all the analysis that you're performing. I'll put a link below to a playlist of the videos that focus on just this. Finally, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and click that little bell icon so that you don't miss out on any new content that I put out. Thanks for watching.